wonderful friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 26th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, a look at earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours imagery of our sun, large plasma filament erecting from the surface in the north, and as well, a CME ejected in the last few images there. You'll see it as that large plasma tornado is spinning on the surface of the northern parts of our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a pretty bright and active sunspot region. Shot out a couple C-class solar flares. And as well, in those last few images, a CME, coronal mass ejection. Observing here, outgoing little earth to scale view no new cmes to talk about in an outgoing position but we're waiting to see what this cme did coming from the brightened regions cresting in as well look at the size of that large plasma tornado erecting from the surface of the sun Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Watching these regions as they turn in. And that was our last view. Looking at last 48 hours, multi-spectrum. Plasma filament stretch across the southern hemisphere, helping to create somewhat of a smiley face on our sun Encoupled with our coronal holes as they are turning into an earth facing position. Still, large plasma tornado, large coronal hole, equatorial earth facing with two eyes, it looks like two smaller coronal hole regions just north of it. And then the plasma filament that is stretched across the southern hemisphere helping create the smiley face. A little jack-o'-lantern, just in time for Halloween. Quick look here at another light of our sun. Seeing how our heliosphere is being affected by that large solar prominence northwestern region of our sun. And as well outgoing there on the right-hand side. Amazing. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now after just seeing a C-class solar flare this morning. And I do believe that was from the cresting incoming activity. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 361 kilometers per second, steadily going down. And that will be ahead of the new coronal hole wind stream, which is equatorial region on our sun right now and in an Earth-facing position. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a minor CME taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe. Quick look here at Alaska 2, showing the last three days of events on our sun, all of the energy taking off from it, and as well, that bright star north of the sun is Venus, and that is behind the sun. Opposite of us, of course. Now, this is all open source media available for everybody. I appreciate you guys tuning in to this collection here with Daily Events Worldwide. Having a look at the Schumann Resonance for today, which is a power of six. Very low and healthy power. Quality of 6.8. Amplitude of six and a power of five. Now let's get to earthquakes across the planet for the past 24 hours. And yesterday we saw a very strong earthquake, a 5.1 earthquake in California, just southeast of San Jose, California. A lot of people reported the shaking lasting for about a minute. Alum Rock, California, 5.1, seeing some minor aftershocks through the region. Seven trees, 3.5. But I do believe that this could be a precursor to something bigger, so... Heads up, stay aware and prepared. 3.1 recently there in Texas. 
and as well, notable 2.7 there, Ridgely, Tennessee. But I wanted to show you guys here across USGS, sitting at about 250 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. I wanted to show you exactly where these earthquakes are occurring just east of San Jose and in a line. It just seems to be building and spreading out around the epicenter of this large 5.1 Alum Rock, California. Some people came into the stream right away and said that their chandeliers and pictures were shaking and it lasted for about a minute. So heads up, I do believe that this could be a precursor to something bigger through California or even northward towards the Cascades, Pacific Northwest. Minor activity right along the San Andreas Fault, 2.3 pinnacles. Looking at about 83 earthquakes across the California state past 24 hours. Carrying on here into Alaska, Sandpoint, Alaska saw 4.9 at a 41 kilometer depth as well. Privalov, 4.2 there. Pretty rare place for an earthquake. I haven't seen one there. 4.9 here. Kamchatsk, Russia. Activity off the coast of Japan. Kushiro, 5.3, 4.4, and 4.6. All off the coast. And then we did see a very large earthquake yesterday, 6.4, the Loris Philippines. Minor activity continued after shocks through the region. And then get to deep earthquakes. And today we saw 4.8 Pangai, Tonga, and as well Fiji region, 4.5, 590 kilometer depth. So stay aware and prepared. I do believe this is not enough for a release after all these deep earthquakes we've seen recently. 4.6 there, Myanmar, 4.5, King Hai, China, and as well a 4.5, Suwon, Pakistan. Having a look at South American plate, pretty large earthquake here for San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, 185 kilometer depth. Don't normally see them so big there. Peru, lots of activity today as well, all up the coast. 4.6 ranging to 4.4. And activity through the Caribbean has quieted down. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet, we did see a couple sizable. The last seven days, 6.4 yesterday in the Philippines. And as well, we saw the large one in Central America. And as well as 6.2 South Sandwich Islands. Heads up, North American plate, something is a brewing. We could see a very large earthquake in the next 24 to 36 hours, especially when we have the incoming coronal hole wind stream helping with the matter. Now let's get to weather here, looking at windy.com, windy models. We do have quite a big storm brewing East Pacific Ocean, heading into the BC interior, affecting mostly Northern parts next weekend, very strong low penetrating your coastline. No major tropical systems developing through the Atlantic. Windy conditions will persist today through Ontario. And then watch for a big winter storm developing in the long range. Some pretty strange convergences here over the Pacific Ocean. As strong low pressure systems trying to move westward as frigid temperatures are already dropping like a hammer across Southeast Asia. Now let's get to weather here over North America. We've got quite a bit of snow falling across the BC interior and coastlines, but going to see some extreme weather here through Texas, Thursday, Friday into Saturday, as a Colorado low sweeps straight across the state and then bringing widespread showers eastward. And then another Colorado low here developing into the first week in November. And then look at all those snowflakes 
right across the BC interior, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec. So straight across Canada. Long range forecast showing minus eight Celsius through Colorado. Cold temperatures are definitely moving in. Winter is here and on its way quickly to the United States and is already here through Canada. Having a look at snowfall totals over the next 10 days, looking up to almost three feet of snow through Colorado State and as well Utah, Washington, higher elevations, British Columbia could see three meters of snow in some areas. Some pretty heavy snowfall totals already accumulating across the BC coastline. So heads up, this could be and is expected to be a long, cold and wet winter already gearing up. Having a look at snowfall totals across Canada, 30 centimeters through northern Ontario and about 40 centimeters through northern parts of Ontario. Having a look here at precipitation models for the next week. Some extreme weather sweeping across South America. As I said, no major tropical systems developing. Pretty dry across Europe. The next little while, we've got some big systems off the coastline, but they don't seem to be penetrating the coast and coming inland. Sweeping mostly through Spain. And then... Not until the long range, you're going to see that low pressure system finally make it on land. Tropical system here developing for the Philippines by next weekend. Could be an intense Category 2 system, but then watch that uh, quickly sweep northeastward. Overlooking Australia, daily evaporation rains through parts of the Northern Territory. And then watch by next weekend, Saturday into Sunday, Pretty large low pressure system affecting southern and eastern parts of Australia. And you've already been inundated by heavy rains this season. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Much love, everybody. I appreciate you guys tuning in and daily to daily events worldwide. I hope you enjoyed the video. Atmospheric rivers still brewing through the Pacific, heading for the BC coast. And winter is here. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.